How does communication influence sexual satisfaction in a couple? What about sexual desire during menopause? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Open and honest communication is essential for sexual satisfaction in a couple. It allows expressing desires, needs, and boundaries, facilitating better understanding and connection. Sexual desire may decrease in some women during menopause due to hormonal changes. However, many women experience a rekindling of their sex lives after menopause, and there are various treatment options and approaches to maintaining sexual satisfaction. Aphrodisiac foods throughout history Certain foods have been attributed with the ability to increase sexual desire. Some examples include oysters, chocolate, and asparagus. Although there is no solid scientific evidence supporting these effects, belief in aphrodisiac foods remains common. Antiquity of prostitution. Prostitution is one of the oldest professions in the world and can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as Sumeria and Greece. Association with stigma. Although society has evolved in terms of sexual acceptance, anal sex can still be associated with stigmas. Education and openness can help challenge these stigmas. Cervical orgasm. Some women experience a type of orgasm known as a cervical orgasm, derived from stimulation of the uterine cervix. This type of orgasm can be deeper and more expansive. The science of kissing. Kissing is not only a display of affection, but also involves a complex chemical interaction. Kisses can increase the release of hormones related to bonding and pleasure. Common practice. Despite associated stigmas, anal sex is a common sexual practice and can be enjoyed by many couples as an additional form of intimacy. Tickling and sex. Tickling can play an unusual role in sexual arousal. Some people find that stimulation of certain erogenous zones can induce both tickling and pleasure simultaneously. Kink culture, BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism is a sexual subculture involving consensual erotic practices and games. For many, BDSM is a way to explore fantasies and boundaries. Delayed ejaculation. Some men may experience delayed ejaculation, meaning they have difficulty reaching orgasm during sexual intercourse. This can be due to emotional or physical factors. National Condom Day. In some countries, National Condom Day is celebrated to promote awareness of the importance of condom use in preventing sexually transmitted diseases and unwanted pregnancies. Diversity of fantasies. Each person has unique sexual fantasies. Some are attracted to the idea of threesomes, while others may fantasize about domination or submission scenarios. Dry orgasm. Some men may experience dry orgasms, meaning they feel the sensation of an orgasm without the release of semen. This can occur due to medical conditions or practices like semen retention. Classical music's effect. It has been observed that classical music, particularly Vivaldi's Autumn, can increase sexual arousal. Scientists believe this is due to the rhythm and structure of the music which may match the rhythm of sexual activity. The effect of spicy foods. Spicy foods can increase heart rate and sweating, which could mimic some of the physical responses to sex, leading to the idea that they can be aphrodisiacs. Emotional intimacy. The ability to establish a deep emotional connection and express genuine love and affection is often considered attractive. Studies on the clitoris. Despite the importance of the clitoris in female sexual response, there has been a lack of research on this organ compared to the penis. However, 
there has been an increased focus on clitoral research in recent years. Evolution of contraceptives. Throughout history, contraceptive methods have evolved from rudimentary practices to more advanced options like birth control pills and intrauterine devices. Female ejaculation, or squirting, has become a popular topic in mainstream culture, including in pornography. However, its representation in the media can be controversial and may not always reflect reality. Lack of sexual education. Despite the importance of sexual education, many societies lack adequate sexual education programs, leading to misunderstandings and health risks. Common fetishes. While fetishes vary widely, some are quite common. This includes attraction to feet, sexy lingerie, or BDSM, involving domination and submission. Focus on mutual pleasure. Like in any sexual activity, focusing on mutual pleasure and the well-being of both parties is essential for a positive experience. Health professionals. It is always advisable to speak with health professionals for specific information about sexual health and receive personalized guidance. Highly sensitive area. The area around the anus contains numerous nerve endings, making it a highly sensitive and pleasurable zone for many women. The importance of consent. Consent is crucial in any sexual activity. Individuals must give voluntary, informed, and affirmative consent before engaging in any sexual act. The importance of touch, physical contact, such as hugs and massages, releases oxytocin, the love hormone, promoting emotional bonding and intimacy in relationships. Influence of social media on sexuality. Social media can influence body perception, sexual expectations, and communication in relationships. It is also used to connect with diverse sexual communities. Intense gaze. An intense and penetrating gaze can be attractive, suggesting confidence and emotional connection. Kegel exercises. Kegel exercises are not only for women. Men can also benefit from strengthening the pelvic floor muscles to improve the quality of their orgasms and control ejaculation. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation knows no age limit. Older individuals can also enjoy self-exploration and sexual satisfaction throughout their lives. Male multi-orgasms. Although it is more common for women to experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session, some men can also achieve it. It is believed to be more likely in young and healthy men. The practice of controlling ejaculation can help some men achieve multiple orgasms. Nonverbal communication. The ability to communicate through gestures, eye contact, and positive body language can be very attractive. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.